If your games are lagging or your FPS drops during heavy moments, the problem might not be your hardware. It could be your CPU settings. Windows often doesn't let your processor work at its full power, which can cause stutters, slowdowns, and wasted performance. We'll adjust important CPU-related settings that most people never touch. And once they're fixed, your system will feel faster, smoother, and ready for serious gaming. Let's dive into it. What's related with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up boost. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Boost CPU performance via registry tweak. Before jumping into heavy gaming or demanding workloads, it's important to fine-tune how Windows handles CPU priority. By default, Windows tries to balance background tasks and foreground apps. But for gaming, we want every bit of processing power focused on the game. In this step, we'll apply a simple but powerful registry tweak that adjusts how Windows schedules CPU resources, giving more priority to the foreground applications, like your games. This tweak helps reduce micro stutters and improves overall responsiveness, especially on lower end CPUs. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar and typing registry editor. Right click it and choose run as administrator to open it with the proper permissions. Once it's open, copy the registry path given in the video description and paste it into the top address bar of the registry editor, then press enter. This will take you directly to the correct key. Now, look for a value called Win32 Priority Separation. Right click on it and select Modify. In the dialog box that appears, change the value data to 26. Make sure the base is set to hexadecimal and then click OK to save. This setting tells Windows to prioritize foreground apps over background services. Once done, close the registry editor. These small changes ensure your CPU gives more attention to the tasks you're actively working on, like running your game smoothly while reducing interruptions from background processes. Step 2. Apply full CPU optimization pack for maximum performance. After fine-tuning the registry, we'll now apply a full optimization layer using a pre-made CPU tuning package. This step helps push your processor's potential even further by applying safe and tested tweaks across various parts of your system. Whether you're using an Intel or AMD CPU, this pack is built to adjust key CPU behavior, eliminate bottlenecks, and enhance system responsiveness across gaming and multitasking scenarios. Begin by heading to uptopacks.com and looking for the FPS Boost section. Find the post that matches this video's title and thumbnail. This ensures you're downloading the exact file I'm demonstrating. Once located, download the CPU optimization pack, extract the zip file to your desktop, and open the folder named CPU Optimization. Inside, you'll find several optimization files. Start by carefully following the included instructions to install each one correctly. These files are designed to modify specific CPU behaviors for better performance. Next, open the CPU priority folder inside the main package. Here you'll see two subfolders, Intel and AMD. Choose the folder that matches your processor. For Intel users, open the Intel folder and install the included file. If you're using AMD, do the same with the AMD folder. These tweaks will apply CPU scheduling rules and driver level settings based on your processor architecture. Now, install the Quick Boost application provided in the same pack. This utility is essential. It applies real-time optimizations to improve CPU behavior and reduce background lag. Once launched, you'll see several tabs, General, Advanced, Cleanup, Downloads, and Windows. Let's start with the general tab, which includes essential tweaks that should always be applied, especially after a Windows update. One of the first things you will want to do is enable exclusive full screen mode, which helps boost gaming performance by stopping Windows from interrupting or adding overhead to your games. Next, make sure to disable the Xbox Game Bar, as it runs silently in the background and can eat up valuable CPU power. Also, turn off startup telemetry, which prevents Windows from collecting unnecessary usage data at boot. 
It's also recommended to disable mouse acceleration here, which results in more accurate and consistent mouse movements, a big plus for gamers. Another key setting is turning off power saving mode, which allows your CPU to run at full strength without being throttled. On top of that, you can stop certain system services from running silently in the background and using up performance resources. And finally, this section also lets you easily uninstall pre-installed apps and games that clutter up your system, saving storage space and reducing startup delays. Now head over to the Advanced tab, which contains more technical options designed to push performance further. A standout tweak here is disabling power forward link which removes a background power saving feature that can hold back your system during heavy gaming or rendering tasks. This tab also has several RAM optimization tweaks that help your memory run more efficiently, leading to faster load times and smoother multitasking. You'll also find the option to tune the hardware data queue size, which can improve input response times, especially useful for competitive gamers who need every millisecond to count. After that, go to the Storage tab, which gives you quick access to several system cleanup tools. From here, you can remove temporary files, clear old log files, and even run a full Windows disk cleanup to delete outdated system cache. You can also get rid of random leftover files that accumulate with regular use. Performing these cleanup tasks helps reduce clutter, frees up drive space, and can lead to faster boot times and a more responsive desktop experience overall. Next, open the Windows tab, which includes UI and experience-focused tweaks that still impact performance. For example, enabling show hidden folders makes it easier to manually find and delete temp files. You can also turn off notifications, which helps eliminate pop-ups and distractions during gaming or work. Another useful setting is disabling clipboard history, which keeps your system from holding onto unnecessary text or file data. Lastly, disabling transparency effects may slightly change the look of your desktop, but it greatly reduces the load on your graphics and processor, especially helpful on low-spec machines. After applying all of these settings, don't forget to restart your PC. This step is crucial to ensure every tweak takes effect. Once the system reboots, your Windows environment will be fully tuned for better performance and gaming stability. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, Return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Clean storage and privacy settings for further performance boost. After applying registry and tool-based tweaks, it's just as important to clean out the clutter and silence background noise. Many background services, privacy trackers, and unused apps quietly consume CPU, RAM, and disk space. By adjusting just a few window settings, you can reduce this hidden load and free up your system for better gaming performance. These steps are simple but powerful, especially for users on limited hardware. Open your window settings. Go to System and then click on Storage, where you'll find an option called Storage Sense. Enable this option to allow Windows to automatically delete junk files from your computer. Once it's turned on, click on Temporary Files. Here, you'll see a list of file types. You should check all the options except for Downloads. That's important. 
If you check the downloads box, Windows will delete your downloaded files too. So leave downloads unchecked and check everything else. After that, click on remove files. This will clean out unnecessary data from your C drive, freeing up space and helping your Windows system run much smoother. Now, the second thing is about adjusting your privacy settings. In the same window settings, click on privacy and security, then select the general option. Inside this section, you'll see multiple toggles. Disable all of them. These are mostly for tracking ads and content suggestions, which are not needed and can slow things down. After that, go to the speech option and turn off online speech recognition. If you're not using voice services, it's better to keep this off to reduce background activity. Next, open inking and typing personalization and disable it if you don't want Microsoft to monitor and personalize your typing experience. After that, head into diagnostic and feedback and disable send optional diagnostic data to stop your PC from sending extra data to Microsoft. However, if you're a part of the Windows Insider program, you should keep this option enabled. In my case, I'm part of that program, so I need it turned on. But if you're not, go ahead and turn it off for better privacy and performance. Now, go to the section called App Permissions. Under this, click on Location. If you're not using any location-based services like Maps, disable the location setting to save power and resources. Then click on the Camera option. If you're not doing video calls, Zoom meetings, or using a webcam, you can safely disable camera access. If you are using a webcam, then feel free to keep it enabled. Now move on to Notifications and turn off access for apps that don't need to show you alerts. Then, go to the messaging section. If you're not using Windows built-in messaging services like the People app, you can disable it to reduce background usage. Now, about the radio settings. Some people suggest disabling it, but you should keep this option enabled. Disabling radios can cause your Bluetooth or wireless devices to stop functioning properly, so leave them on. You can also disable permissions for other apps you don't use, like contacts, phone calls, call history, and emails. If you don't use the built-in email, client, or any phone-related apps, these permissions are unnecessary and can be turned off. This will reduce background processing and improve performance. The last thing you should do here is remove unwanted apps. Go back to the apps section in Windows settings. Here, look through your installed apps list and find programs that you don't use. Many PCs come with pre-installed apps or trial software that you might never open. Uninstall any app that's not useful to you. This will free up space and stop unnecessary services from running in the background. It also helps Windows use your system memory more efficiently, giving more power to the apps and games that actually matter. Step 4. Optimize Windows power settings for maximum CPU output. Power settings in Windows are often overlooked, but they play a crucial role in determining how your system allocates CPU power. By default, Windows may favor energy efficiency over performance, especially on laptops or pre-built systems. This results in reduced clock speeds and inconsistent CPU behavior during gaming. In this step, we'll force Windows to prioritize maximum performance, ensuring your processor runs at full power all the time. Optimizing your PC's power settings is a simple yet effective way to unlock its full potential and boost CPU performance for gaming. To get started, open the Windows search bar, type power, and select choose a power plan. Once inside, change your current plan to high performance or ultimate performance if it's available. These plans are specifically designed to focus on performance instead of saving energy, allowing your hardware to run without holding back. After selecting your preferred power plan, click on Change Plan Settings and then choose Change Advanced Power Settings for more in-depth configuration. In the new window, scroll down and expand the PCI Express section. Here, you'll see Link State Power Management. Set this to off. This disables a power saving feature that can reduce GPU or CPU performance during gaming sessions. Next, go to Processor Power Management and expand that section as well. Now set both the minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This forces your CPU to operate at full clock speed all the time, avoiding any power throttling or automatic downclocking that may interrupt gameplay or cause FPS dips. 
Once you've made these adjustments, click apply, then OK to save and exit. These settings ensure that your CPU stays ready to deliver its maximum performance at all times, leading to smoother gameplay, reduced stuttering and better frame rates overall, especially in CPU heavy titles. And that wraps up today's guide. With all these tweaks applied, your CPU should now be running at its full potential, ready to deliver smoother gameplay, faster load times and more consistent FPS. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more deep optimization guides and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.